The time that I spent at St. Catharines was probably the happiest time of my life. Cambridge has been a huge influence on my career. Without it, I, I wouldn't have sort of got anywhere, really. I think St. Catharines was the defining, genuinely the defining moment in, in, in my entire career. I felt so uh, at home and comfortable there. It gets into you and underneath the skin. It did really totally change my life and I'm very grateful to it. St. Catharines has a rich history spanning more than five centuries. It has been entrusted to us for the present. We hope to be able to hand it on to our successors as a strengthened and enhanced college fit for purpose. We know that there will be challenges ahead in doing this, not least financial. I went to an open day, um, loved it, just the friendliest college I'd, I'd been to. The thing that really impressed me about St Catharines and has always impressed me about it is how inclusive it is. I absolutely loved it, but I would have to, of course, admit immediately that it was not a glamorous college, but of course I came to understand that that was much, much more important than any whimsical fashionista judgment about what would have been a fashionable place to be or an attractive place to be. It's a very nice college to come into as a new person. It's a very, very friendly college. And also, I think we do get students from a, a fairly diverse social mix here, an unusually diverse social mix. It is that, that feeling of being part of a real uh, corporate group of people, a body of people in the college, which not only relates to those who are here at the moment, but which, of course, stretches uh, back a long way and God willing, will stretch forward a long way too. So, we're going to distinguish between these six compounds of using carbon in a For me, I think the supervisions have been sort of one of the key parts to my learning. Uh, I think that lectures are obviously very informative and your own work is really, really helpful. But to actually get sort of, you know, what are leaders in their fields um, talking to you one on one, one on two, uh, asking you questions, pushing you. The key point is to have a discussion, to have a debate with the student, so that the student, rather than simply asking one question, can actually follow through and ask several questions and can get into a debate and discussion uh, with the person doing the supervision. So that's great, you've already identified two. So let's kind of pull them apart a bit because it's true that sometimes these... I think the supervision system is great because it means you get to know people who are really, really strong in their field and it's really good for teaching and having a person you can ask rather than just being told in the lectures and you know having no way to ask questions but um, I like the way it's so personal as well. It's quite likely that somebody in our system would actually meet perhaps some of the leading people in the field in this country. First of all, we want to provide a good education for them, but um, that in its broadest sense, apart from the, the academic, the strictly discipline related aspects, we hope that we teach them to think, to evaluate, to be objective, and I think they learn a bit of time management because they cram a lot into these um, eight weeks. I played university hockey in my first year. I played hockey. I got involved in acting. Football. I did a bit of cricket. Badminton. And also swimming. All sorts of sports for the college. Then the footlights came along. I was um, the JCR vice president in my second year. And I've also sort of been involved in the JCR. I've always been a very enthusiastic and terrible sportsman, so I was in there, you know, College second eleven, and you know football, and you know the college third fifteen, <laughs> and um, you know I was very, um, I loved taking part. You know, uh, I was just, um, you know, the th slightly daunting thing about being at St Catharines is when people are good at sport, they're very, very good. 
is not really about lead tables, um, though lead tables are nice if you're high up them, not so nice if you aren't, but, but is about them having the, the maximum range of opportunities. The things that I'll really remember from my time at St Catharines has been uh, sporting highlights. Uh, for example, playing at the hallowed grounds of Grange Road uh, with my rugby team, uh, but also watching two successful uh, football cuppers campaigns. In addition to the sport uh, of various sorts, there's the music, and the music is, um, is quite wonderful in this college. Uh, we have a terrific choir. I am particularly proud of the academic performance, but I would not be proud of that if we had been compelled to change our character as an institution in order to be able to achieve that performance, and I don't think we have. As you can see from this film, St Catharines is in rude health, with our students leading on all fronts. The government carried the burden of financing many students through their university education. Now, with the return to reduced state funding, we look once again to our members who share our affection and vision for their college to help us create a secure future for St Catharines. The St Catharines campaign was launched in 2009 to raise £30 million over a five-year period to support the three core areas of greatest importance to the college endowment, teaching and buildings. As the Development Director of St Catharines, I would like to ask you to consider a gift to the St Catharines campaign to secure a bright future for the College. Harvard Business School is fantastic at uh, fundraising, absolutely terrific. Um, and they, they write to you every couple of weeks but my heart always says I'll give to St Catharines because St Catharines was the one that made the most significant difference in my life. The college spends a higher percentage of its wealth on teaching and providing teaching at all levels than any other college I know. I mean we have more research fellows almost than Trinity College which is about, I don't know, 20 times as wealthy as we are. Um, we support a very large number of college teaching officers. Even in these difficult financial times, we continue to support junior research fellows, and that's very important to keep the whole academic life ticking over. Uh, we are a much less homogenous body uh, at the undergraduate level than we once were, uh, more various in terms of race and creed and social and economic background and school type. Had I not gone to Cambridge, I might have thought I wasn't quite cut out for Shakespeare and without all the training at Cambridge. St Catharines is unique in my experience as being an institution to which I've had strong feelings of, of bonding and of affection. And it's been really interesting to go back to the college and be completely reminded of that kind of sense of community and possibility and openness that there is. And I got married in St Catharines. I mean, I came back several years after I'd left, maybe 10 years after, um, because that was the place that I, that I wanted to, to, to be married in, so we were married in the, in, in the college chapel. And I think my horizons when I arrived at St Catherine's were quite limited really in terms of what I might do or what I might be able to achieve and um, you know I started to understand that the, you know everything was accessible. The, the thing that struck me most is that the, the, the idea that Cats is a community. Um, there doesn't seem to be many breaks between um, people working in the kitchen staff, people working in the, in the alumni office and students. The thing that I've enjoyed the most about being here has honestly been the people that I've met. They've been 
absolutely fantastic. The thing I will look back on is it's just such a privilege to have been in such a, a great intellectual ferment that really you get in so few other places in the whole world. I consider that I owe the college a lot. It turns the ordinary into the extraordinary. It was a community. It was a genuine community and it did, a, I thought, a really good, a really good job uh, in the way that perhaps slightly more self-regarding places don't. If it's about anything, it's about excellence. That's St Catharines, that's the message and I just think it's just a wonderful place to be involved in. Thank you.